Hello, my name is Scott Miller and I'm a student here at Liaison College in Barrie, Ontario. And today I'm going to show you how to make a grilled corn salsa. Summer's coming up, fresh corn's about to become available, and what better way to enjoy it than in a corn salsa. Today we're going to use uh, five, green, five years of grilled corn, about a half pound of tomatoes, some green onions, a pinch of cumin, some lime juice, red wine vinegar, some olive oil, red onions, a jalapeno pepper, and some salt and pepper to taste. And we'll finish it up by mixing in some fresh cilantro and parsley. First things first, we'll get our corn grilling. What you want to do is you want to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and brush it onto the ear of corn. Nice, uh, a nice liberal amount, but not too much. Just enough so it won't stick to the grill and it'll brown nicely. The other thing you can do is season with a little bit of salt and pepper and that'll help with the flavor. Onto the grill it goes and we'll keep an ear out for that. The next thing you want to do is to prepare your tomatoes. I suggest always using fresh tomatoes and this is how we'll prepare them. The first thing you want to do is take your knife and core the tomato. Following that you want to slice an X on the bottom of the tomato, like so, and place it into a pot of boiling water. You want to leave it in here for 15 to 30 seconds, just enough so that the skin starts to let go of itself. Leave that there for now. So while we're waiting for that, we'll grab our bowl where we're going to prepare our salsa. The first thing you want to do, I'll use the prepared tomatoes for now, is take the tomatoes and the reserved juice and place them into the bowl. Just let me give this corn a turn and our tomatoes ready. Place it in a cold water bath just so that it can cool off so you can handle it a little easier. And the way that you'll get the skin off of this is if you just take your knife and run it under the skin to get a tab and from there you can pull the skin. And that's how simple it is to prepare your tomatoes to slice. I'll slice this tomato up to add to our, uh, to our salsa as well. The great thing about salsas is you can add in just about anything you want, change the flavor for, uh, for your own taste. If you, uh, if you like them a little milder, keep some of the hotter things out. You don't need to add the jalapeno. You can always add some uh, fresh green pepper uh, for a little bit of sweetness. There we go, we'll get that turning. And into our bowl. Next, we'll take our corn and I'll show you how to get the kernels off the corn. It's quite simple. Hold it by its stem and merely run your knife down the edge of the, the cob of corn. We'll gather this up. And we'll put this into our bowl as well. And I'll add the remaining corn that I had prepared from earlier. Now, most salsas have some onion in it, some red onion, green pepper, correction, green onion. A little bit of jalapeno pepper for uh, some heat. 
We're going to put in about uh, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. A sixth of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. A pinch of ground cumin. We're going to put in the juice of a lime. Last but not least, we'll put in some fresh herbs. We'll put in some cilantro and some parsley. You want to take the stems off your parsley because it'll make it bitter if you don't. So chop these up nice and fine to sprinkle in. Just like so. Add about a half cup's worth. From there, you just want to mix it all together. As you see, there's lots of nice colors in here. The yellows, the greens, and the reds. Purple from the onion. And from there, you have a nice fresh salsa to enjoy with your family and friends. To enjoy on the back patio throughout the summer. Thank you.